In beat halving mode, the RBM230 halved six rows at a time by means of vibrating lifting shares, with the roots then being moved through the harvester by four cleaning turbines. Change was on the horizon, however. Soon, the tanker harvester would be with us. The scene was set for the arrival of some of the largest harvesters of all time. All four wheels provide drive and steering. The Ropa Euro Tiger is a real monster. Six wheel drive, articulated frame and a 29 tonne capacity tank make this one of the largest six roll machines around. Once again, computers control the harvesters every move, including the 460 horsepower diesel engine mounted at the very rear of the machine. Built in Germany, Roper harvesters are imported into the UK by CTM Hartley Engineering. The German Grimmie organisation is best known for its range of potato harvesting machinery. But now they have brought their knowledge of potato harvesting to bear in the sugar beet harvester market. The Grimmie Maxtron 620 doesn't even look like a sugar beet harvester and it is certainly much quieter in operation. This machine, with a difference, runs on two sets of rubber tracks with two large wheels at the rear of the machine providing steering giving the Maxtron the ability to turn within its own length. Up front, an inline topper returns the leaves to the soil by burying them leaving a clean, level surface after harvesting. Hydraulic oval wheels lift the roots before they are passed up to a cleaning mechanism that stretches the full width of the machine. The huge bunker that unfolds behind the Class Vista cab can hold 20 tonnes of sugar beet and all the controls are managed by a touchscreen computer, including cruise control. <laughs> 